Good morning, and welcome to the very first Monday of our sixth season. By now, you have been with us on the very first two episodes that aired this past Friday. Folks, Dr. Tommy Nelly joins us officially for a full season. He is here with us today, and today we're going to turn to a different topic. And today's topic is quite simple. When you respect your elders, you learn from the people who have walked and paved the path before you. You need to respect them. You need to understand them because, let's face it, someday and sooner than later, that day, that hour, that minute, that title will be referenced to you. Have faith, let it begin. Monday edition, sixth season, episode number three starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel, can you say have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say have faith. Let it begin. No, no. No? No? Okay. It's a boy. Hi, Noah. Noah. Hi, Noah. Hi, Noah. Oh, Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. Hey, oh, oh, you did amazing. You just put those guys on. Noah. Have faith. Let begin. When it starts right now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our sixth season here. And we can't think of any other way, any better way than to kick off our first Monday with Dr. Tommy Nelly, who is officially starting from a full season. Dr. E, welcome to the sixth season. I am absolutely pickled, pickled and thrilled pink. That's not a word or an expression, but we make them up here uh, to be part of this uh, amazing. This is not a podcast. The have faith, let it begin um, situation. It is a happening. It is an extravaganza. It is a barroom brawl that has broken through the doors of the of the of the of Dodge City Saloon and has spilled over into the dirt road of Main Street in Dodge City. And the horses are neighing and jumping and the tumbleweeds are flying. <laughs> And dust is everywhere. And me and Angel are wrestling on the ground. And we stand up and we hug each other and we say, happy anniversary, brother. I'm telling you, definitely. And I thought it'd be a great way to kick off the week with a with a semi-serious uh, topic. One that I think we can all relate to. And, and it all started because I you know, I was talking to our, our, our familiar, familiar friend, uh, Nick, at my job. And we were talking about respect and uh, the respect factor and respecting our elders. And then I ran into this quote that said, just because you're older doesn't mean you deserve respect. Respect is earned, not given. And I started to think about the elderly. I thought about the elders and I thought about where has that respect factor gone? Because I don't feel that that is around anymore. So I guess my first question to you is, what has happened to that generation of respect uh, and why has it gone away? Thank you, Angel. I, I think that's a great topic. So um, I always try to bring to the podcast a little bit of a different perspective. So I, I think that the way I would answer this is that there is that since we were kids and I was a kid a lot, you know, way before you were, and even back another generation to my parents, I think that there was just sort of a um, an expectation that everyone was given a pass uh, if they happened to be a doctor, right? Or they happened to be a professional or if they happened to be older or have some gray hair, there was an expectation that there would be a level of respect. And as such, what happened, unfortunately, is with every time um, an institution or a situation um, you know, is brought to the human realm, you know, it's squashed, you know, the, the ideal, which is to respect your elders and respect, you know, those, um, you know, those in respected uh, positions like doctors and, and priests or clergymen or whatever rabbis. Um, sadly, you know, people take advantage 
you know, the doctors, you know, took advantage over it over time. You know, they made money hand over fist and they were very, you know, um, unethical with their billing practices and ripping off Medicare and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, priests did unpriestly things and, you know, um, some of the elderly weren't, you know, exactly uh, the ideal person that we would want to give respect to that person who lived a good life. And now they're in their 70s or 80s or 90s. And, you know, you figure, you know, they're good, humble and ethical people and they've done their hard work and they've paved the way for you. But I think what happened in the 60s and then really, you know, really have now really blossomed in, in this day and age, in this 21st century is that no one anymore gets that pass. So it, there's not just this, I mean, you know, people are respected, sort of you're given an opportunity, you know, to prove that you're worthy of that respect. Meaning you, like a kid won't come into my office and be automatically disres disrespectful, um, but for them to actually revere me or treat me to a level, you know, of my profession that I have to earn. Or a priest, you know, in the old days could probably have told anybody to do anything and you would have had to do it. Um, that doesn't happen anymore. That priest might get respect just as a, okay, we're going to give you the benefit of the doubt, but now you got to prove to me that you're a holy person, that you're worthy of me being able to trust you. And, you know, I think that breakdown of that, you know, sort of, you know, wooden nickel where you're absolutely just kind of guaranteed that. Um, having to earn it is not such a bad thing because it protects us from us. It protects me as a doctor from getting too sort of caught up in my own, you know, it, it, what would you say? My own sort of, uh, you know, success or my own, you know, uh, achievements or whatever. And it makes me have to make sure every person I walk into a room, I can't just go in anymore and say, you do what I tell you because I'm the doctor. That's not going to fly. I have to come in there humbly and with gratitude. And, and I love that. And, and, you know, Angel, I'm, I'm taking too long and I'm sorry. I'm talking no, too much. Not about, at all. Um, I, I, I believe it's not a terrible thing. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you were too long. I think you're you're express. That's why I brought you on here is you know to, to express your opinion. Yeah, this is this is your Monday, and this is just as much as uh, you know your episode as it is mine. And 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 our half faith let it begin family. I would say that the three things, if I were to categorize it uh, with this whole respect elder thing, I think the three things that are lacking is communication, patience, and believe it or not, entitlement. And I think that are the three key components uh, is what is lacking from the respect and disrespectful uh, factor that's happening in our generation. Um, because I believe that if, if people continue to have been raised the way we were raised, then that communication would have kept going on from generation to generation. In the same sense, we have to find that we live in a day and age where uh People are having that instant gratification. They need things right here, right now. And as we get older, our 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 learning capabilities and our abilities to do things at a in a timely fashion is not as quick and swift as it has been in when we were younger. So people need to be more patient and understanding. And the last part, which is entitlement, it goes both ways. We're talking about a younger generation, but we also have to talk about the elderly. The elderly also have to understand that it's not all about them. It's about all of us. So the respect that we're supposed to be giving them also has to be returned. Um, and, and, and quite often you find the elderly not so uh, polite either. Yeah, no, I, that's beautiful. So basically we, we, um, we both, if we were to take, you know, the thesis and the antithesis and put it together in a synthesis, I think that, you know, you get uh, you get automatic chance at respect. You earn that respect and then you and then you're able to achieve that respect. And, and, and I think that, you know, it's probably good that you don't get instant uh, respect without having to at least, um, you know, put go through the go through an evaluation uh, by whoever it is. Absolutely. And I think that that's the best way to, to end um, our, our first uh, Monday in our sixth season. 
Um, I, think I can think. Should... Of, I can think of a better way to end. Tell me, with a prayer. Absolutely, and I think that's exactly where we're going to go. So let us start this way. One day, we will all be categorized as an elderly person, as a senior citizen. So let us begin our prayer to them. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for each and every minute and every hour of the day. Because let's be honest, life is short. As we get older and we become more wiser, we have to remember that there are people in this world that have paved the way for us to be here. Let us learn to get along, to respect one another. Let us learn to understand one another and be patient and allow each other the opportunity to communicate as we talk about the past, the present, and our future. So may God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. And Dr. E, what do you think we should do today? I think we should end with the following. Have faith. Let it begin. Have a good one, guys. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day. Right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. <laughs>